So let's, let's move on away from reports for a little bit to actually look at uh, cohorts. And cohorts is a, is a popular uh, functionality uh, that Amplitude offers where we can start to group users uh, by some kind of criteria. Slightly different from, uh, from what we saw before with the, with the clusters and so on, uh, but cohorts can then actually be used across nearly every Amplitude report uh, to analyze the data. So in this case, you know, we can look at perhaps uh, users uh, to keep it simple. And as you know, maybe they perform a specific event. Let's say users who view an ad is you know the event we've been using quite a bit uh, for almost all these reports. Uh, they've done at least once, um, and it's happened at least during the last thirty days. It's a very simple cohort, and it's actually also only include users who have been active during those thirty days. That is, they fire some kind of active event. So let's save it and let's say view ad once plus active user. We'll just give it a, okay. And for any cohort, you can actually make them, uh, this idea of discoverability, that is other users in your Amplitude account can find it. Uh, otherwise you can just keep it private just for itself. So now Amplitude will take this uh, logic and it'll take it just a little bit of time to, to compute, actually just a, a few seconds. So now we, can, now we can get a sense of how many users are in this cohort, right? We have 189,000 users. And then we get some, some reports out of the box here uh, in terms of you know, maybe some user composition, uh, some average active events user and so on. This is just reports that I'm to just created here for us. Now let's actually go back to cohorts. So from here we can, um, you know, we can export this as a as a CSV if you want the, you know, the user emails or user IDs or whatever it may be. So this cohort would then be, be available across uh, across uh, most of the reports in Amplitude, and you can use it, you can export, it, you can do a lot with it. And of course, we'll all update over time. Uh, so this, it will just keep matching the criteria that you set, specifically if it's a, a rolling criteria like this, right? We have the last thirty days, so it's a rolling criteria of sorts. Uh, so we can build cohorts, and we can then group users and and do different things with them.